so here's my little lead melting project that I started. My mother bought a radio and it had two of these little ornaments on the side of it. And one of them on the right side was broken and missing, you know, pretty much half of it. So I removed the, the other ornament and uh, decided to try to melt down some lead. I just found it at a, a yard sale, just a piece of pure lead pipe guy was selling. And so I cut a piece of it off and uh, melted it down. Basically, I've tried two different molds. The first one, I just used a sardine can, uh, put plaster of Paris in it, and put the ornament on it. And you can tell it's it's not level. It kind of shrunk up on me too. I don't know if it was the type of plaster I was using or what, but did some research and everybody's making molds out of plaster of Paris so but this was a one part mold so then I didn't like the results from that although it turned out okay uh, it, it wasn't perfect so I went and got uh, first of all I got a base of clay and did the first part kind of use this flashing uh, or aluminum flashing and kind of molded around the clay and then I uh, put my piece in it mixed up my plaster of Paris it's like uh, two parts plaster of Paris one part water and I just did like a half a cup uh, and it formed this piece first and then of course I soaked it using some Murphy's oil soap uh, let that set up. It only took like 30 minutes to set up, which surprised me. I thought it would take, you know, five, six hours to set up, but it set up within 45 minutes, it was ready to pull apart. So then I took this piece off of the clay, wrapped my flashing back around it, mixed up another batch, and poured this on top of the soaked first layer. And as you can see, it turned out really well as far as the mold goes. Uh, so then I just basically come out to a garage, got my safety equipment. I got some some uh, welding gloves. Of course, I do recommend using a a good respirator. I got a 3M here. It's rated for chemicals and toxic fumes. Also good eye protection um, just in case anything splatters or your, your plastic Paris I don't know but I've heard if you try to pour it I let these I let these sit over a heater vent for two days before I try pouring any of this uh, hot lead into that because I didn't know if it might hit the water and explode or not but basically I use some map gas uh, put my piece of lead in here and kind of just weighed out what the other piece weighed. Uh, that's what I cut off, put in here. And of course, you know, you can see some, some slag in there from the lead. It's kind of oxidized and there's some impurities in there. But uh, hit it with the map gas. It only took it maybe three minutes to melt. Uh, of course, one thing, uh, didn't know for sure if it was going to work out was my input hole and I kind of just drilled out a hole and uh, just poured it in very slowly very slowly and you know while keeping the map gas on it which is kind of a challenge but I actually put this in a vise so that I can control the amount of lead that I was pouring in so anyway, um, that's my little project. Looks like it turned out good. Might try to do some other stuff.